In 2017, researchers from the European Sensory Network, ESN, conducted an experiment to investigate how context can be implemented in consumer testing. In this experiment, they compared traditional product testing in a laboratory, a central location test, with product testing in immersive situations, such as a virtual reality. The researchers recruited 513 volunteers to evaluate four different beers, distributing the volunteers in five groups. Group number one tested the beers in a traditional sensory laboratory. This method is called Central Location Test, CLT. Group number two tested the beers while wearing virtual reality glasses. Through them, they were immersed in a 360-degree video from a real pub. This group is called VR360. Group number three tested the beers in a real environment, an Irish pub. This group is called RE for a real environment. Group number four tested the beers while wearing VR glasses. But this time the scene was based on a 3D modeling of a real pub. The volunteers were immersed in the scene and could watch and interact with their near surroundings. This way, the participants did not need to take off the VR glasses in order to answer the questions. Group number five tested the beers in an immersive room, a laboratory equipped with two big screens which showed scenes of a real pub. Typical background noises and smells were produced to simulate a bar atmosphere. This group is called immersive room. The researchers asked the study participants how much do you like the beer? How much would you like to taste it again? And how much were you involved with the experience? They also asked them about their emotions evoked by the beers. The participants could choose from a list of such words as calm, nostalgic, bored, excited, etc. This is called kata test. Here are their main results. First, it was easier for the study participants to discriminate the beers in the traditional laboratory test, the central location test, than in the three immersive conditions and in the real pub. Second, the study participants were more engaged in the real pub and the three immersive conditions than in the central location test. Third, the results in the immersive room and in the VR 3D modeling came closest to the real environment. The take-home message of the researchers. It seems that an immersive environment flattens the hedonic differences between products. Since food and drink are always consumed in a specific context, consumer testing results may well be more valid when they are obtained in immersive environments that simulate real-life conditions. An immersive room or a VR 3D modeling are good techniques to use in order to simulate real-life situations in the lab. The research was conducted by Fiorella Senesio, Elisabetta Moneta, Silvia Abba, Christelle Pocherot, Lise Dreyfus, Kevin Guimet, Seppe Brunings, Charles Laporte, Sven Henneberg and Jean McEwen.